In this segment of HBCN Weekly, we take a closer look into what Hulsa is really about, what seniors plan on doing as they get closer to graduation, and personal opinions on abortion. This past 30th of January, Holmes High School hosted its second annual blood drive. We talked to some students and teachers to see how they feel about it and its impact on the community. We have two blood drives at Holmes High School. We have a fall and a spring. We work with the South Texas Blood and Tissue Center. Um, high school, nationwide, high school students are some of the biggest donors. And we uh, collected 143 units of blood. Um, each unit of blood can save up to three lives. I donate because I have the second universal blood and I feel like if I can save somebody's life, why shouldn't I? You know, you could be saving a family member, you could be saving a neighbor, you could be saving a schoolmate, a classmate, a peer, you never know. I think it bands us all together as one human. I think the blood drive impacts our community because it really shows an initiative to help those who are really in need. It's really cool to see how people I know giving blood to like give back to the community and to really show their appreciation for what this blood drive stands for. I'm so proud of our students here that, uh, that step up. Um, it's not very comfortable sometimes to have a needle um, injected in you and to withdraw blood, but students do it all the time because they want to give back, they want to save lives, and I think that's really a, a heroic thing. Our next blood drive is April 17th, it's a Monday, and I hope that we will have uh, more people out uh, donating and saving more and more lives. As we get closer and closer to graduation, some seniors are barely figuring out what they plan on doing for the next step in their lives. As reality hits, we talk to these seniors to see what their plans were after graduation. Plans after high school are to go play basketball in college. Plans after high school, attend University of Texas A&M Kingsville and uh, further my football career. I am going to attend Southwestern University and play football and study major in kinesiology. I plan to attend Texas State University and I'm going to major in fine arts and dance. I see myself graduating from college and becoming a high school teacher. In five years, I see myself as a, as a game warden for the state of Texas. In five years, I see myself as an assistant coach um, at any level. Just working my way up. I see myself as a graduate from Texas State University and I do see myself as well teaching dance. My major goal is to help my mom and my dad out with all the bills they need. Tell my father, um, work, uh, make my mom and dad proud, is to be a hardworking husband and father and to be a successful head coach. Help other kids find their confidence through dance. Go. With recent threats of the U.S. government taking back women's rights of abortion, we talked to students on a controversial topic. I feel like abortion is a choice a woman has because it is her, their bodies and they have the right to do whatever they want. My opinion on abortion is that I think it should be up to a person whether they choose uh, to do abortion or not. And I think it's kind of sad and it's kind of like crazy to think that the government is trying to tell people what to do or um, not give them the right or the option to do what they want to do with their bodies. I'm very pro-life actually. I lean more towards taking it away. I think that no matter how old the baby is or whether it's considered a baby or not, it's murder and I don't think people should be able to get away with that. I think the government should allow people to have their own rights to their own body because in the end they're not going to be the one raising the baby and it's not even count a baby until it's born so I think it's wrong for them to say what you need to do with your future involving if it's like if it was raped or incest or anything like that I don't think that's fair. I think it's stupid because it's not their body. I don't because I care about my future and I don't want to focus on another human right now. 